Hola, hola, hola. Good morning. Buenos dias, beautiful planner babes. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, la planning diva. And I have a ridiculous amount of planners in front of me that I'm going to be sharing with you today. I hope you enjoy this video. This is going to be my July planner lineup video. Oh my goodness. Oh, and happy belated National Planner Day. It was National Planner Day yesterday and I was really excited because I was planning on filming this video yesterday and I thought it was perfect because it would be National Planner Day but I just didn't get around to filming until the day after August 2nd so happy belated um, National Planner Day. Close enough. Life happens. Things don't always go according to plan. Anyway, this video would have been perfect for National Planner Day because I have a ridiculous amount of planners in front of me. This is going to be a planner festival, a planner Lollapalooza. This is my July planner lineup. And yes, I am filming my July planner lineup in August because my July was insanely busy and I just didn't get a chance to get around to filming this video until today. And that's just what happens. But um, the positive side of that, the flip side of that, is that I have been using my July start planners for the last month. And so I do kind of have a more informed idea of what is working for me, um, what isn't. And so I'll be able to share a little bit of that experience with you all today. So I have this ridiculous amount of planners. I think I have 14 or 15 different planners that I like to work in. I have sacrificed myself to the planner gods. I am using this ridiculous amount of planners so that you don't have to. You're welcome. You can just live vicariously through me. A couple of notes about having a ridiculous amount of planners. Yes, it is possible. Yes, it is difficult. Yes, there will be weeks that you are not in every single planner. And if you would like to juggle a ridiculous amount of planners, then you're just going to have to be okay with blank spreads, blank pages in your planners. Yes, I still think it's worth it because even if you're in a particular planner only 50% of the time, that is still time and energy that you have dedicated to that particular aspect of your life and it's better than nothing. Do you need a whole planner for that aspect of your life if you're only 50% in that planner? That is a philosophical question that I will let you decide for yourself. I personally enjoy a ridiculous amount of planners because um, I think they're fun. I enjoy having these little works of art. I consider them little masterpieces. I find them helpful and motivating to think about every single aspect of my life, whether that be fitness, nutrition, spirituality, or wellness. I do consider myself a multimedia artist. So for me, they're like art notebooks, journals, and um, some of the planners I don't use as traditional planners. Um, and they're more like scrapbooks or art journals or junk journals. Some planners are planners, but I use them a little bit less consistently. Like the format I use them in isn't in that traditional like weekly spread layout. They're more of like a monthly layout. And so I find it a little bit easier to be consistent with those planners. So I just don't use a lot of these planners in traditional planner ways. And honestly, you might not even call them planners because I'm not using them in that traditional planner sense. But I am using like a planner um, as like the base for the notebook. So I just call them planners. And also I am a research scientist and a data scientist in particular. I am used to handling terabytes of data on supercomputer clusters on the daily. And so for me, having a ridiculous amount of planners is just another terabyte level data set that I can play around with and experiment with. And I find it to be a lot of fun. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the planner lineup. So grab your coffee, grab your cocktail, grab your glass of wine, because I hope to be under 45 minutes for this video. We shall see, because this is going to be truly a trip through my planner solar system with multiple planets. We're going to be making quantum leaps, going through wormholes, ripping space and time continuums. It is going to be a journey. So let's get into it. 
Okay, let's move some of these away for now. And let's start off with kind of the order and how I think about my planners. So this is my workhorse. This is my work planner. Um, I have it housed in this work and life like hardcover thing. And um, this is a big. And sometimes I clip it into the holes here and sometimes I don't. So this planner, I technically have two planners in here. They're Franken planned. And this is a transformer planner in that I have six months of my big squad girls planner that I use for my scientific research. And then I flip it around and I have six months of my teaching planner that I use for teaching, which I am a prison art teacher as a side hustle. This is also where I put a lot of my service and outreach, any workshops I facilitate, any mentoring I do for undergraduate or graduate students that isn't directly tied to my scientific research. This is my teaching planner. This is also where I put down any notes that I take for my own educational um, enrichment. Like if I'm taking a workshop to educate myself on different like teaching practices, I will take notes in here. So this has everything to do with teaching. And then this has everything to do with science. So I actually just switched into this big squad girls planner. This is such a gorgeous planner. I still haven't put uh, my name sticker here in the front. I have a Cozy Critters vision board. I actually had a Cozy Critters big planner for the first six months of the year, January through June. I was using my big Cozy Critters planner and then I switched into this big squad girls planner because it is so super, super cute. I actually was super inspired by my friend Rachel from Rach Makes a Plan. She had just switched into a squad girls planner and she was showing me all the dividers and how cute it was and I fell hard. <laughs> it's so adorable. Look at that. Anyways, um, I'll flip through a little bit here. Like I said, I've been able to use all my planners for this month, so you can kind of get a sense of how I use them. The monthly, I'm trying to use this more, um, but sometimes I just don't use it. And then the month of July, um, this week is when I was doing field work in the Sierras, so I was out of the office from July 10th through the 14th. All of this I wrote when I came back to work um, Friday and then I worked a little bit on Saturday, but this is why this one's pretty blank. Ooh, I like this one. This one was wild styled. And then this one was modern Mickey and Minnie. Um, I actually didn't get a lot of time to write in here this week. So that was um, July. And then um, I just have six months of squad girls in here um, until December and then a whiteboard some filler paper back here some papers actually I need to take these out because I got a folder to put them in so that is that I have six months for my research planner and then for my teaching planner my Winnie the Pooh cover page which I love so <laughs> This planner is like a complete hybrid because this cover is from a big notebook from Mickey and Minnie Whimsy Wonders, like the back to school collection. I think it's perfect for teaching. But the guts of this planner, um, first of all, the year to glance I took out because I use this squad girls year to glance for both research and teaching. I find that it's better for me to combine those things here so it just goes straight into the months and these dividers are actually from a teaching planner from the farmhouse line that was released in 2021 this one's gorgeous or 2020 um, a few years back and i found it at my local goodwill and so i grabbed it i wanted to use the dividers so what i did was i grabbed the dividers and then I taped together some current dividers. And for this month, I actually used um, a Whimsy Wonders back to school teaching layout planner. I just grabbed a month from it and I used that. This is the week I went to the Sierras to do field work. So I was not in here. Came back, did some work. Um, and then this is the current week. 
And then actually this page, you can tell that I have switched it up. I don't remember why I pulled for this page, honestly. Why didn't why I didn't just leave the Whimsy Wonders page? Maybe I lost this page. I don't know. But at this point, um, the guts of this planner, these pages right here, are from a back to school teacher planner. It's this one. The messy classrooms are where the magic happens. Um, these pages are from that planner. At first, I was going to stick with the dividers from that planner for my teaching planner, but I really, really liked these farmhouse dividers, and so I decided to go for these. And so, yeah, I just glued the dividers together, and so we have current dividers, but these dividers are from a, an older planner. So that's what I did here, and then we have until December, and then back here I just have some stationery and stickers in my little folder and then some um papers here which actually i might also move out into my folder i just got a folder for loose papers um i got that at target so i could pull out all the loose papers in my planner so that is my work planner okay and then let's move to my flagship planner this is my baby this is the 18 month Tanya Garcia Bright Travels Big Planner. This thing is gorgeous. I love it so much. Um, this is a sticker. This is my um, name that I drew out a while ago. And then I scanned it, used Photoshop to isolate the script and then my Cricut to cut it out. So now I can just like slap my name stickers down in any single planner. I love it. But this is my scrapbook. It is my creative journal, my memory keeper, um, call it what you will. But this is where I put a lot of my journaling and memories. Um, I have a couple of journaling pages here in the front, the great habit tracker, some photos. I'm still filling these out. And then I just have a folder here with some coloring pages, some brush lettering practice, my intense sticky note dashboard, and then we get into the planner. So, oh, so the Tanya Garcia planner is so gorgeous. It is a vertical. So this is the monthly. Let me pull this out. Um, so that was what my July monthly looked like. And then this was the first week in July. I used the Tanya Garcia Bright Travel sticker book to honor this planner. And then I did a bright summer themed spread here. And then this one was my trip to the Sierras. I was up in the Sierra Nevadas collecting ants for work. I work in an ant genetics lab. Really like how this one turned out. And then I still have plans to set up this week's spread and this week's spread. I'm two weeks behind now at this point, but that's okay. It happens. And then we're going to move into August here. So I'm excited. Love this thing. Love it so much. You'll probably see um, the plan with me's for the past two weeks coming up soon. So that is my Tanya Garcia Bright Travels flagship creative journal. Planner number four, if you count my work planner as two separate planners, which I do because it's my research and my teaching combined. Um, planner number four is my wellness planner. And this is my twin loop happy face planner. So, so cute. Oh, oh my gosh. I was a little bit worried because last time I tried a twin loop, it was a disaster and I quickly gave it up. And so I could not believe that I was getting myself back into a twin loop again, but it has really been working out for me. So I'm happy. First off, this cover is probably one of my all time favorite covers that Happy Planner has ever put out. It's so fun and bright. And the inside cover, I love this beautiful like pastel orange checkerboard. And then the yellow checkerboard on the cover page is so much fun. I found these stickers at Target and so I threw them on here because I felt like they were perfect for this planner. And again, this is a sticker of my name. So the first couple of pages, I'm hoping to decorate these, but I just haven't gotten around to it. And then we have July. I am coloring in each of these happy faces. I think that would be a fun look. So I'm gonna do a couple every day and then see how long it takes me to finish this. 
The monthly I was hoping to use as a mood board, but in July I just didn't get around to it. And then the first week in July I didn't get into here. I was super busy this week. I had just come back from New Mexico. I was there um, a week for a conference, so I really wasn't getting into my planners until a few days after I came back. I think I came back on Monday. And so I did get into here the last couple of days of the week. And then this week, I got into it the first couple of days of the week, but then kind of left it for the rest of the week. Here, I was in here, here and there. Again, this is when I went to the Sierra Nevadas this week, July 10 through 14. And so it was hard for me to, uh, to be in my planners this week. And then I really like how this one turned out. I had a lot of time this week to work in my planners. And so had a lot of fun here. And then this was the past week. I'm still figuring out how I want to use this planner. I'm, I'm really enjoying like habit tracking in the sidebar and then sleep in the sidebar and then using the weekly space to journal and to write down, you know, all of the things that I do for my wellness. I also decided to move my hydration tracking into my wellness as opposed to keeping it in my fitness, which is what I was doing before, because I feel like hydration tracking is more for wellness than it is for fitness. And so that is the first month in my wellness planner. And I'm going to get into August very, very soon. I'm excited. Love this thing so much. It's really been working wonders for me. I'm enjoying being in here. Okay, my fifth planner is my Cafecito Designs Undated Vertical Planner. This thing is super, super cute. I put this little pan dulce charm on it. Ugh, it's so cute. But this planner is actually my on-the-go planner now. I use it as a brain dump planner. Um, as I'm out and about, I'll reach for it, write down, you know, ideas that come to my mind, you know, to do's that I got to do later, just complete brain dump planner. Um, my friend calls it my catch all planner, although I don't know if it is a catch all. For me, I call it my on the go planner. This actually used to be my like content creation, small sticker business planner where I was planning out all of my videos and my content creation and all of that and also planning out um, you know my sticker designs and things like that and that was fine for the first couple of months in the year but around May I kind of just strayed away from this and uh, I wanted to switch back into a, a disc bound planner, a happy planner for that stuff. And so I abandoned this planner for like the month of May and June. And I didn't really get back into it until this month, August. So, so I set up the monthly for August. Um, and yeah, I've started to work in it again as a, and use this as on the go planner. And it really is working for me as an on the go planner. And that's the nice thing about these like undated planners is that you can just like leave it for a bit and then come back and then just pick off where you left off even if it is like two months later. So this is my Gafasita Designs on the go planner. Okay and then here is my hybrid Franken planner. So I think I have seven planners in this one planner and I just use one month at a time in here. So this thing is like my heart and soul right now. I love it so much. Um, and this thing is truly a Frankenstein. There's so many moving parts to this. So the front cover is the back of the Happy Planners, like Happy Face Classic Planner. This is one of my all-time favorite designs and I had to have it as the front. And because of the way the Happy Faces are oriented, um, I could flip it upside down. So it is upside down right now. The little Happy Planner logo up here is upside down, and so I covered it with this super cute sticker. And then the back cover is from Winnie the Pooh. I love Winnie the Pooh, so I loved having this here. And then opening it up is a sticker explosion. So I have a bunch of stickers on this page, some of my favorite stickers that I've collected from all over. And then my cover page is from that same Happy Face Classic Planner. Again, this my name is a sticker. I just got like a Mario sticker book and I thought it was super, super cute. And so I went with like a gamer theme for my sticker collage here at the front. Super, super cute. 
And then I've decorated the year at a glance with some of my favorite stickers. I think it looks adorable and so much fun. And then I'm also playing around with this year at a glance and using it as like a sticker collage and a little bit of a year at a glance journaling spread. And so there's that. I've only, you know, worked in July for now. This is my Happy Planner Solar System table of contents um, from a few years back. So this is completely changed here. But look, I was using 17 different planners this year. I am insane. But I want to do a new one for this year and this lineup. So I'm going to be working on that at some point. Um, Pan Dulce is my vice deco sheet that I put together. I love it. And on the back are some sticky notes. And then here, I'm thinking of using this page as my table of contents here. And then here I have my New Year's resolutions that I made in 2022. And I love them so much. I just decided to keep them for um, forever. I have my boss bitch morning routine, my bedtime routine, a packing list, and then um, just some more filler pages. Um, oh, on the back of this page, I had a brain dump of my July planner lineup and what I was going to be using this um, for the rest of the year. So I have that. And then I have my planners. So I try to separate all of my sections with um, double sided dividers that either I've made or have just, you know, come in a notebook or something. I made this one. This is a fitness double sided divider that I made from two regular dividers from a wrong, wrong fitness planner. And then for fitness, I am using the tie dye fitness planner love that thing. Um, fitness planning is near and dear to my heart. My first happy planner ever was a fitness planner and so I've always really enjoyed fitness planning. Although honestly in the month of July I was so busy that I wasn't really working out. I went to the gym once. I walked a lot. I hiked a couple of times here and there. I stretched here and there. I ran once. Um, but other than that, that was pretty much everything I did. So that's just what happens sometimes, you know, sometimes, sometimes your fitness plans work out and sometimes they don't. So my fitness planner was looking pretty sparse this month. My next section is my meal planning section. And I'm actually using the vertical um, 90s themed planner for this section. I really enjoy meal planning. Um, the monthly, I'm exploring how I want to use this. I'm thinking of using it kind of um, to take notes of any significant like meal events, like eating out or things like that. And then also keeping track of my net caloric gain or loss throughout the month. So that's these pink um, mild liner sections but i haven't gotten into the habit of keeping up with this so this was more of like a trying to figure out exactly how i wanted to structure the monthly so i was super busy this month so i really didn't get into here um until later on in the month and this is kind of how i like to set up my meal planner and honestly this is more of a meal record keeper than it is a meal planner i will do some meal planning like in the sidebar like I'll map out kind of what I want the week to look like. But in this section here, I keep track of what I actually ended up eating throughout the day. And then I have my calorie calculator stickers down here at the bottom, which I use to keep track of, you know, how much weight I'm gaining or losing in terms of the caloric intake. I used to use a meal planner for my meal planning um, from the Happy Planner, but the Happy Planner didn't come out with a meal planner for this year. So I just decided to use a vertical planner for my meal planning. And so um, this is my meal planner. And again, this thing is a Frankenstein monster because um, the cover is from Fun Illustrations with the cute little lemons. Love it so much. The cover page is from a meal planner. And the actual, um, and I have a bunch of accessories here, like shopping lists and stuff. But the pages are from the 90s planner here. Oh, this is so cute. June. So this is kind of an idea of how a full week looks like. So I have my... Um, a really rough meal planning guide here and then I'm keeping track of everything I'm actually eating. 
And then of course, some weeks I am in here and some weeks I'm not. And in the overview pages, I like to just keep notes of, you know, recipes, ingredients, things like that. So here's another example of a week that's pretty full. But yeah, that is my um, meal planner. So I have the rest of the 90s um, planner in here. Very, very cute planner. I'm excited to be using this for my meal planner. So that is that. The next planner is my household planner. And then this double-sided divider is from Squad Girls. Super, super cute. And I'm very excited because for my household planner, I'm using the Sunny Mini Planner. And this is another Frankenstein because I am using the dividers from the Sunny Mini Planner. Um, super, super cute. This is a monthly. I like writing down notable events um, here in the monthly. And then I am using the Winnie the Pooh dashboard planner for the actual guts of the weeks. So these pages have been glued together because I really wanted to use the dividers and the monthly um, pages from the Sunny Mini because they're so beautifully decorated. But I wanted a dashboard for the weekly because I find that this is perfect for household planning. So here is my Sunny Mini planner and I loved the inside cover of this thing so much that I turned it around. So here we have um, the front of the planner. It is it was a vertical planner, I believe. Yeah, it was a vertical planner. And so I changed it to a dashboard. So here we have the cover. I have a little sticky note dashboard, a folder. And so the next month, August, um, we have the monthly pages. And then, oh, for some reason I was using, uh, I used a, a different planner for the insides. Like this is from a, uh, I think it's called like, colorful animal it was like a leopard print dashboard oh i just have that for one page <laughs> and then i switched to the winnie the pooh i think i must have used the winnie the pooh pages for something else so i just have one week where we have this leopard style dashboard and then we go back to winnie the pooh and then i also glued these pages together so that i could have the monthly overview from the sunny mini because I love this so much. So same thing in September, we go back into Winnie the Pooh and then we end with Sunny Minnie. So we have Winnie the Pooh here and then Minnie right here. Look at these dividers, they are so cute. I love this thing so much. Oh my goodness, so cute. Anyways, my dashboard is for my household. And so this planner has everything to do with my household chores, tidying, cleaning, things like that. It also has everything to do with my pugs. Um, and then I also include everything that has to do with my aquariums. I have two aquariums and they need like maintenance on a consistent basis. So everything that has to do with my aquariums goes in here and everything that has to do with my cars, oil changes, work on my cars. I keep track of that here. And so I played around with this um, planner this week, but I really didn't do too much here. And then I just didn't do anything for two weeks. And then I got back into here this week. And this is a little bit more of a fuller week where you can see how I'm using this. I'm playing around with my pug control center, I call it, section here, where I'm keeping track of, you know, walking them, filling their bowls with fresh water, food every day, um, playing with them, cuddling with them, making time for playtime with them, um, grooming, and as going to the dog park. I have a to-buy list up here, errands over here. These are morning chores that I'm trying to make a habit of keeping up with. And then on the daily pages are like um, chores that I want to do on a particular day. And I'm still playing around with what I want to do with this section. Um, so yeah, that is my household planner. And then we have my garden planner. So I am using a gardening planner, an undated vertical gardening planner for my gardening planner. And this is one of the planners that I don't use like a traditional planner because I treat each month as a season. So I've covered up the month here and I put summer 23. And how I use this planner 
first off the monthly i use just as like a photo collage space so for example um this is how i used the monthly last time and then let's see there's another oh i love this one my eggplant spread i use this section the monthly as just like a photo dump and a journaling space and then we have my gardening projects page where i keep track of you know my seeds that i've sowed this season and when they're sprouting and when i've transplanted them um, keeping track of gardening expenses gardening projects um, pest control here um, and then for the weeklies i actually use what i call like the box a day or the rolling monthly format in which i'm using a vertical but each box represents one day so i'm looking at three weeks at a time and that's the perfect format for gardening for me so this is the month of june and then or the last couple of days in june because this is summer and so we had summer started you know the last couple of days of june um, and so I just keep track of, you know, everything that has to do with my garden in here. We have July, and this is currently where I am right now. Um, although I probably should start getting into August. So I've started setting up August here. It's currently August 2nd, Wednesday. So yeah, I need to, I need to pull some more pages in here. That is my gardening planner. I love it so much. The next section, super cute squad girl divider, um, double-sided divider. This is my budget. And I am using a horizontal planner from the like uh, fruity 2D horizontal planner that came out last year. I used to use a budget planner and then realized it really wasn't working for me. And then I switched into a horizontal and that has been absolutely amazing. So um, for the monthly, I keep track of all of my bills here. And then for the weeklies, I just keep it really simple. And all I do is write down, you know, my expenses every single day. And sometimes I decorate, sometimes I don't mostly i don't um this week i did but it's really simple decoration it's more so just keeping track of all of my expenses and i have some notes some calculations here in the back and that is my budget planner and my budget planner is housed in this baby right here this is my this is another frankenstein monster because it's completely made of like million parts we have the Winnie the Pooh cover and then like a teacher planner backside cover. When you open it up, it just says budget planner. We have some savings goals um, sheets, which which I'm hoping to play around with these later. But um, then I have some example like reference uh, spreads that I reference to get an idea of like my typical expenses. And then we get into the fruity patootie horizontal planner dividers. So June, so again, we have my monthly and then sometimes I decorate and sometimes I use like color coding, sometimes I don't. And then sometimes I just don't use this and I forget to write down my expenses. And then I remember. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we just have the rest of the planner in here and the horizontal is really, really working for me. These dividers are so cute too. So I'm very, very happy with this setup. I'm so happy I played around with a horizontal for this. I used to get into my head about needing to use like a budget planner for my budget purposes, you know, I needed to use a wellness planner for wellness and I needed to use a fitness planner for fitness and I really needed to like align you know the planner purpose with what I was using it for and I just realized that it just doesn't work for me sometimes like the happy planners budget planner just doesn't do it for me and I feel much more motivated using a very cute planner that is you know in a horizontal layout than I do using just a regular budget planner and I think it's because I like these dividers more I like the horizontal layout more so it makes me want to use the planner so that is my budget planner and then the next section is my faith planner and for that I am using this be still faith planner this thing is gorgeous and some of my favorite spreads that I do are my interfaith calendars they're so much fun. They're so beautiful. 
Oh, this is an example of some journaling, some faith journaling that I did. Although some months I definitely um, don't do my interfaith planners. Like I don't have time. But some months I do get into here. These are so beautiful. Ugh, I miss doing them. Anyways, in July, I was not in my faith planner at all. I didn't get to do my interfaith planner and I did not get to journal at all. However, I am starting to settle into routines and really starting to carve out time for intentional prayer and spiritual work. I have big plans for recommitting to spirituality. And so I am very excited about the month of August um, and I'm just going to get back into it. So that is faith planning. The next section is a new addition to my lineup, and unfortunately this month I was not able to get into here at all. This is my fun illustrations planner. And again, this is another Franken planned Frankenstein monster because the fun illustrations planner is the one with the lemons on the front, but I ended up changing that up. I decided to go for this fruity patootie planner for the cover. So the cover <laughs> is a different planner, but the insides are from the fun illustrations planner. So I have my little sticker here and um, this is my content creation planner. So I used to use my Cafecito Designs, this planner here for like planning out all of my YouTube videos and, you know, small sticker designs and such. But I really wanted to switch into a disc bound planner again for that stuff. So I decided to go for this one. So I just have some vision boards here of all my planner stuff and some just some cute spreads that I was working on, a whiteboard, um, a folder and this is all kind of in the crafty theme and then we get into the planner pages so this is the fun illustrations planner like i said and it is a dashboard so i am excited to be using this for um youtube but unfortunately in july it was just way too busy for me and so i didn't even touch this thing however i have plans for for really sinking into YouTube again. I have started to, you know, develop a routine with my new position and I'm starting to see where in my schedule I can fit YouTube videos. And also something that I've been trying hard to work on is just filming and putting out content, even if I don't feel like it is the most perfect thing ever. Like many planners, I struggle with perfectionism and always wanting my videos to be absolutely perfect. And if I can't film at a perfect time, if the video doesn't come out as perfect as I want it to be, I tend to just scrap the video instead of sharing it. And I want to get over that. That is something that I am struggling with and I'm working hard to overcome is to put content out there because I could really put out a lot more content and put it out more consistently if I could just get over those hurdles of perfectionism put out more videos um, in the coming months i feel like i had to take a little bit of a break in july as i figured out my new schedule and as um i wrapped up some projects at work but now i feel like i'm i'm ready to get back into it so these pages were blank this month but they are not going to be blank next month i promise you that and the last planner in here is a new addition to my lineup. And this is going to be my relationship planner. Hi, Steven, if you're watching. Steven is so sweet. He watches my videos and comments on them. But this is not a surprise to Steven. If Steven's watching, he already knows my plans. So I'm not surprising him with this at all. And actually, we have had a relationship planner. We had one a few years back, and it was a lot of fun. And so I want to be more serious with it and commit to one again. Because that last one that we had, um, like some months we were in it and some months we weren't. But I think it would be fun to have a relationship planner and use it as a space to plan out like cool dates for each other. And then also scrapbook memories, you know, photos we take things like that. I think it would be very cute to look back on. And so right now I'm still figuring out exactly what planner I want to use for this. Right now I am using like a Mickey and Minnie Oasis um, 
planner for the dividers, but then using like a current, um, I'm using the Cozy Critters vertical planner for the actual planner pages because I don't want to um, redate or date pages for this. I might though. I'm still figuring it out. Steven was traveling all of July, and so I wasn't really able to use this relationship planner, but he's back now, so I think we're really going to get into it in August. So this is the planner I've set up for our relationship planner, and I love it because it has Mickey and Minnie here holding hands in the front, so it's perfect. It says, collect moments, not things, and... Um, and I love the Oasis line because, you know, Mickey and Minnie are just like being super cute throughout it. And um, I filled it with some scrapbook that we've, you know, made in previous years. So it's me and Steven. Um, and then we went to the Grand Canyon together. And so we made these little pages a while back. And so I have these in the front of our adventures. I love it. And then some notebook pages. And then we have um, the month starting here. And um, so the, right now the dividers are all from the Oasis line, but I'm still undecided about if I want to stick with this. Um, and the the actual guts are from the Cozy Critters um, planners. But yeah, I have a bunch of Oasis, Mickey and Minnie Oasis um, dividers. Yeah, as I'm flipping through this, I kind of want to like revisit this and maybe structure it differently. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, that is my relationship planner here. And then this last divider is just a super cute Mickey and Minnie divider. And it is separating my filler paper. Um, I have some filler paper back here from the rest of the um, planners. And then some journaling pages back here love those and then i love the sticker collage in the back i just put this together these are all of like my camping stickers i'm a huge camper of course so love these so much Ugh, love these s'mores stickers steven got these for me so this planner has i don't even know how many planners it has in here but um fitness is my sixth planner meal planning is seven household is eight Budget, no, Garden is 9, Budget is 10, Faith is 11, YouTube and Content Creation is 12, Relationship Planner is 13. So now I'm at 13 planners with this planner. Oh my goodness. So we have 13 planners and then I have a couple of more planners and these are like honorable mentions because the rest of these planners um aren't super traditional planners that i use every single day so planner number 15 is my daily planner and this is my heart and soul this is the adventure Awaits saguaro fantasy planner from 2020 love this thing so much um, and i have repurposed this planner as a daily planner so this used to be you know like a yearly um, dashboard planner and I took all of the dividers which are super super cute and I repurposed them I used scrapbook paper to cover the backs um, so that way I could you know make them current and cover up everything that happened in 2020 as we don't want to remember that year and I filled each month with daily pages. And so I have a bunch of daily pages here. And some of these daily pages are actually from last year because I've been using this planner um, as a daily planner for since last year. So we have some stuff that's dated 2022 and it's all intermixed into pages that are from 2023. And I don't mind it being kind of chaotic like that. Um, it is what it is. So if we go to July here, um, this was, I think, from last year. From last year. This one was from this year, I think. Yeah, this one's from 2022. This is from this year, 2023. This is 2022, 2023. And so, yeah, I just fill it with um, any time that I, I need like extra space, I want to work in a daily planner, I'll pull for this planner here. 
And sometimes I'll just use like a little section on a page here. I don't use the entire page necessarily. Um, yeah, it depends on how I feel. Some months I'm really in here and I like to use, you know, a lot of pages. And then some months I'm like barely in here at all. And I have all types of daily pages in here from so many different like extension packs and things like that. So that's my daily planner. Planner number 15. This is my grimoire. I love this thing so much. And oh, oh my gosh, thank you so much to everyone who supports my grimoire videos. I have so many ideas coming. I just need to sit down and execute them. Uh, my grimoire planner is my grimoire. <laughs> love this thing so much. And uh, I have notes from astrology, crystals, spells, animals, tarot, moon magic. Honestly, haven't really been doing too much in here besides moon magic stuff. So this was a couple of pages I made for my new moon in Aries. I'm still figuring out how exactly I want to use my grimoire. And so... It has been a slow process, but I have some ideas about where I want to go with this. And right now I'm excited because I have an idea for a spell that I want to put together. And so I will make my first spell page in my grimoire soon. So keep an eye out for that. So it's my grimoire. And this planner is such a gorgeous planner. I don't remember what this planner is called. But it was kind of like a vintage floral, vintage paper looking planner. And these discs are just amazing. I love these like baby pink glitter discs. Planner number 16. This is another daily planner that I put together. And the cover is the Squad Girls um, classic notebook. I got this idea from Rachel from Rachel Makes a Plan. Of course, she had put these beautiful blue discs from the Out for Adventure um, planner pack that came out last year. Um, it looks so good on this pink um, cover. It used to have like these blue plastic discs, but it looks so good with these like slightly darker t um, blue metal discs. But this is actually going to be another daily planner for me because um, I got the Winnie the Pooh classic planner um, in the, you know, with the Winnie the Pooh release. And it's a dashboard and I'm using the dashboard pages for my household planner as I just showed you. But I love Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh is one of my all-time favorite like characters and worlds and stories. And so I wanted to save these dividers. And so what I'm going to do is something similar to what I did with my Cactus um, Saguaro Desert Dream Planner in, in that I'm going to take all of the dividers and I'm going to cover up this side with scrapbook paper. And then I'm just going to continue to reuse this throughout the years. And I've already kind of set it up. Each month has just like a different type of daily page set up in it. I just need to find time to find scrapbook paper and cover up this side here. So that is going to be my second daily planner. Planner number 17. I think we're on 17. I have lost count. Oh my gosh. Can't stop, won't stop. This is my reading journal, and again, this is a journal, not a planner, but I am using this super beautiful modern bookish big planner as my basis for my reading journal. This thing is fantastic. This is exactly what I wanted um, from the Happy Planner. I wanted like a sophisticated bookish because I used to have the like bookish planner as a reading journal a few years back and it was super bright and while I liked that and enjoyed that I really wanted something a little bit more muted for my reading journal and these discs I will never take these discs off this planner I think it looks so good together these are actually um Mickey discs from the like the floral Mickey and Mini um be happy box but this thing is just so amazing and how I structure my reading journal is that each divider is a year. So this is 2022 and then we have 2023. So I go through this very, very slowly. 
And it really depends on how much time I want to invest in my reading journal. Um, for 2022, all I really did was a reading challenge spread. So I took pictures of all of the books that I read in 2022, and then I just kept track of them like that. And that's it. That's all I did for 2022 for my reading journal. This year, 2023, I'm doing the same spread my reading challenge, and I haven't even kept up with it. I printed out, you know, three books. I think I've read eight or nine books at this point of the year. So I need to get back into setting this up. So I just have some scrapbook paper um, for my reading challenge. And then something that I've been playing around with is making my own like reading journal pages. So I made this page on Canva and, you know, using this space as a place to journal a little bit about the book, write some statistics on the book here. Um, and so, yeah, I have some quotes back here as well that I, I really enjoyed from that book. And um, yeah, so here is another page that I'm starting, The Body Keeps the Score. And I don't necessarily do this for every single book I, re I read, just the ones I feel like particularly moved to make a journaling page on, and also whenever I have time. So this is what it looks like when it is completely blank. So I, again, I made these on Canva. I made like a skeleton and I tried to leave enough room for me to be able to decorate and add my own stickers. But also I wanted to add some decorative elements as well. And then these are stickers here. Um, this is a different style. I made like little coffee scene down here a little bit bigger. Um, as you can see, I, I've done like different styles here. I'm still experimenting with, you know, which ones I like better. And, and I can always just have multiple different styles just to switch things up as well. Um, so yeah, and then the rest of these pages are like the teacher layout that this planner came with. But I'm slowly working my way through this. So that is my reading journal. Okay, the last planner that we have, planner number 17, is my Japanese journal. So I actually have this planner housed in this blue zip folio from the Happy Planner. I actually got this at my thrift store. I found it, and so I grabbed it, and I covered it with my Gudetama vinyl stickers. I think this is perfect for my Japanese journal. I am trying to learn Japanese, and so... Um, this is like my home base for my Japanese journal. I have some stickers in here, um, my katakana, hiragana chart here as well. I love to reference. I have a bunch of stickers that I've gotten in like Daiso's, which are in Japanese stores, or in Little Tokyo in Los Angeles. I have some, you know, Gudetama uh, dividers I made, um, some pages that I'm working on here. But the planner that I'm using right now um, to work on my Japanese is this one. This is a older happy planner. And I don't really use this as a planner. I use this as basically a journal, a decorated journal to practice Japanese in. This is an older planner, so everything is outdated. Um, and that's fine because all I'm going to do is basically treat this as like blank pages. And I'm just going to ignore the calendar at the top. <laughs> and um, just focus on practicing my Japanese. So I haven't been working in this at all, but if you're interested in seeing how um, I set up my Japanese um, practice pages, I have some here in the back. These are from older planners. Um, I decorated these pages and never filled them in, but okay, here we go. This is how um, I would practice my Japanese. So these were older pages. I pulled out some of my favorite pages from that planner I used to use. Um, and then I'm hoping to use some of these blank pages. They, these are completely like chaotic, like they're mixed all over the place. But some of these pages are kind of blank. I'm hoping to use these pages as like scratch paper to just practice um, writing the characters and such. 
And so yeah, this is my little Japanese planner. My dream is to, you know, go to Japan and be able to understand and speak and read and write and navigate um, Japan. I've always wanted to go to Japan. It seems like such a cool country to visit. And so I would love to be able to like um, get the most out of that experience by being able to speak some Japanese and understand some characters. And then look at this. Look at these um, stickers right here. These are all from Little Tokyo in Los Angeles. And then these are also from Little Tokyo, these Sanrio characters, so cute. But yeah, um, I'm trying to get back into my Japanese and oh, this planner is so, so cute. I love it so much. Oh, this planner is super, super cute. It's so gorgeous. I wish that Happy Planner would do more um, planners like this, where it's just so bright and fun. And like the currently page is brought back and everything is so bright. Like, look at that. This is so bright and fun. I love it so much. And it's seasonal too. Oh, this is such a fun planner. Look at these dividers. So much fun. That one's so cute. This little like garden scene. Oh, this is actually from another uh, planner. This is from the Bold and Bright planner. I think this one is too. <laughs> I think I used some of the dividers for some reason. And then I ended up um, adding some other dividers into here. This is from a teacher planner. Sometimes I forget about things that I do in my own planners. How beautiful. Love this. December. Okay. I'm excited. This is motivating me to get back in here because I set this up so nicely and it's just so fun to be in. Okay. That's it. That is my ridiculous July planner lineup. We're sitting at 17 planners. Let me know how ridiculous I am in the comments down below. And please let me know which planners you would be the most interested in seeing plan with me's and um, flip throughs. Obviously, I can't show everything. And so I would love to know which ones you would be the most interested in. I tend to focus the most on my flagship planner and my fitness planner. I know that you all want to see grimoire spreads as well. So those are top of my list. Those three planners are kind of the top of my list for me. But please let me know if there are any other planners that you would be the most interested in seeing and checking out. I would really appreciate that. All right, everyone, thank you so much for spending all that time with me here today. I really appreciate it. I am so happy to be part of this community and I feel so supported by everyone here who watches my videos. So thank you again from the bottom of my heart. And with that, I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe, stay blessed, happy planning, happy trails, take care, and see you next time. Adios.